First, I want to say a hearty hello and welcome to our Board of Trustees, our founder, Dr. Donald Heck, our president, Dr. Carol Ryan, our academic officer, Dr. John Minchin, my esteemed faculty colleagues, our wonderful deans of all of our departments, and our wonderful academic advisors. Learners, which is the term we prefer at Cal Southern University, this is your day. Today is your day. Congratulations on setting in motion the forward trajectory and taking the first of many steps in your journey to the special day, destination graduation. And thank you for bringing this day to us. We have 113 graduates today, 113. And with your mean age being 43 years old, you have demonstrated a mature and experienced ability to bring together many and much over your lifetime. One might say you are well seasoned by the sundry spices of life. You are distinctive in that many of you have done various combinations of working, attending school, or vice versa. Some of you started businesses or established yourselves in other careers and occupations, or served in our military. It would not be a baseless presumption for me to say that for many of you, the road to here, that is, this very day, has been a long and winding one. While you may feel winded, you now wear the smiles of the victorious. You may feel spent, but you are not finished. Indeed, you are prepared to fly into new and exciting directions, to new horizons and fields of dreams that your repurposed life has built for you during your labors as learners at CSU, Cal Southern. I urge you to proudly raise your arms and your hearts and your heads in triumph. Although the future may have been badly blurred, if not entirely out of focus, you are always mindful of it. And when your vision blurred because of personal challenges or unexpected situations at home, you marched on. Somehow you knew that quitters never win and winners never quit. Somehow you knew you could either join the winner circle or default and circulate with the whiners. Since faith is its own fuel, you possess both faith and fuel to drive you forward. Despite your lacking evidence, save for hope of eventual success, you dug deep and you faithfully kept pushing forward to make it to this magnificent day. To get here was not only the achievement of your dream, it was also an important chapter in your life story. And with this chapter in your story, you contributed to the magnificent story of our wonderful school, California Southern University. Our president, Dr. Carol Ryan, reminds us that Cal Southern University was founded on the learner-centric model. Simply stated, that means all of us at Cal Southern place our learners first and our learners foremost. Again, our learners first and our learners foremost. That's the learner-centric model. You'll note I did not say eccentric, learner-centric. In a manner of speaking, the sun never sets on our learners. You are the engine that drives all of our goals in our teaching, curriculum and program development, course design, evaluation, and accreditation endeavors. Because of you, we can boast of an undergraduate success rate that is 80%. We are proud of a graduate success rate that is 90%. Our data inform us that we have more female students than male students. With that in mind, I must tell you that at a professional school where previously I had spent several years teaching a number of clinical forensic psychology courses, I frequently would tell my students that if women ruled the world, there would be no poverty. The word itself would not be known. Women in charge would ensure that each nation cultivated and prospered from its own natural resources, gold, platinum, copper, water, fruits, and vegetables. If women ruled the world, there would be no wars, as women generally negotiate much better than do men and can arrive at peace faster, cheaper, and permanently. Well, looking at you today, it is clear that the phrase, if 
women were in charge must yield to the more apt phrasing, when women are in charge. Because of your majority presence, you have made this day more than special. This day is spectacular. You have bet on yourselves and won this day. Through your resourcefulness, you have achieved what even some of you might have thought impossible. Maybe some of you thought somebody else deserved today. Don't worry, the sun will be shining on you when you leave this auditorium. This is your day. To achieve what you accomplished was no accident. It was no coincidence. Resourceful and optimistic, you planned it, prepared it, and you proved it. Applaud yourselves for having had sufficient faith to not only dream the dream, but also to live it. Every semester in and every year out until today. This day is your day. Rejoice over your resourcefulness and be glad in it. Do not regret your decision some years ago to make this forward and gigantic step in your life. I was having a conversation recently with someone who was, as I was, an invited guest at the recent dedication of the Tom Bradley International Terminal at Los Angeles International Airport. I told her about California Southern University and urged her to go after pursuits during our conversation she repeatedly defined as dreams. Though listening and attentive, her response was, I'm 62 years old. It'll take me four years, I'll be 66. I asked her, how old will you be if you don't pursue your wonderful dreams? She stared at me, blinked, stared at me again. I waited about 30 seconds for a response. I thought she was gonna give me the formula to anti-aging like, don't go to school. She finally said, I'll be 66. And I said, I rest my case. You need to start pursuing your dreams. Your resilience brought this day to you. However you did it and the steps you took to keep both hope and your goal alive, you made it to today, to victory. You planned it and you earned it. So go ahead and now buy Starbucks best libations. Try on those Prada sandals. Shop not only fashionably, but at Fashion Island. Yes, there is such a place. <laughs> and as your heart dictates, give an extra tithe or offering to your church, to your synagogue, to your charity. Why? These behaviors are important for getting used to the new you. For most of you, the feeling of success and achievement is commencing with today. Perhaps some of you had to conquer your self-doubts. Maybe some of you endured the stinking thinking of ever-present quote-unquote experts, generous with free advice such as the more you study, the more you learn, the more you learn, the more you know, the more you know, the more you forget, the more you forget, the less you know, so why study? <laughs> All your thoughts must now be forward thinking. As that powerful film, The Law of Attraction, demonstrates, thoughts are things. As human beings, we constantly sow thought seeds into the universe around us. Afterwards, we reap the harvest of those thoughts. What you think about the most or dwell on, you tend to bring into your experience. Change your thinking and keep the change. Push the reset button on those old tapes of doubt, anxiety, and fear, and go out and get used to the new you. And anxiety-free, fully confident, and totally competent you. You cannot walk backwards into the future. That excellent book, God Did Make Little Green Apples, says to be the prayer that you pray. Be the miracle you envision. Reach in and find your inner true strength. You prove that. Every step you take must always be forward. That same book, God Did Make Little Green Apples, discusses the fact that the eagle Though feared worldwide is not even the strongest bird of prey, but the eagle has eyes like no other bird and can focus and see something in high definition from miles away. So its eyesight is the eagle's strength. Guided by its incredible visual powers, it dives fearlessly, vertically, and free falls at incredible speeds to successfully capture its target. The point? You are the eagle who first centered your goal in your sights, and with the wind beneath your wings, flew toward it. Never taking your eyes off your goal, you persisted in your flight. 
you stayed on track or realigned yourself and fueled by faith and strengthened by your resilience, you arrived here today to capture your reward. You are the eagle who dared to vivify your dream, who dared to focus it in your sight and decided to spread your wings and fly. And now you, the eagle, have landed. Patiently you wait in capture mode, for you are about to take possession of the new lives awaiting you on your dream's horizon. New or expanded careers springing from your various degrees from Cal Southern schools of business, law, criminal justice, and psychology. For those of you who want to do advanced work in your chosen professional discipline, your toolkit is undoubtedly tailored to ensure your continual success. Personal management, family negotiation and management, time management, money management, goal alignment strategies, and a high level of scholarly discipline brought you here. Your toolkit then is right now well stocked to carry you even further. I take my hat off and salute you. Congratulations on reinventing your life, the best kind of extreme makeover. You predicted the future by preparing and transforming the present. Congratulations on your outstanding degree achievements. Congratulations on new careers that await you. Thank you for allowing us to be your partners in your journey and to help you achieve your goals. Thank you for bringing this day to us. Without you, we would not be here. Thank you.